In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of our sketch tools. Before you start sketching, it's really important to remember what units you're in. For this project, I'm in millimeters, which is what I want. If you want to change them, you can change them right here. Once you're ready to start sketching, select Start Sketch at the top. You'll be prompted to select a plane or a face to start sketching. I'm going to select this plane right here, the XY plane, and which brings me to Sketch View. In Sketch View, we start you off on the Line tool, where you click, move your cursor, click again, and that creates a basic line. You can keep doing this until you hit Escape, and you are brought out of the Line tool, and you can select another tool. I'll select the Tangential Arc tool, select the end of the line, and start creating some arcs and then close it off with one more line. To close a sketch, all you need to do is bring a point back to the starting point. Once you close a sketch, you could exit and do 3D operations like extrude, revolve, sweep, and others. You could also create multiple profiles. For example, I could create a rectangle here. I can create a circle here. And that allows you to work with multiple regions or profiles when you do these 3D operations. One important note is that in many different CAD software, if you create a circle inside a profile, it's implied that you'll create a hole when you extrude that. That doesn't quite work in our software. So it's, in, it's better to extrude first and then create the hole afterwards. Once you draw all your lines, you could also do some constraints. So for example, let's say I want to make a horizontal constraint on this line. I click it, go to more tools and select horizontal. Let's say I want to define the length of this line to be 27 inches. I select the line, go to length, type 27, and it's optional, but you can create a variable off this as well. I'll create a variable called length 001. So all I need to do is continue. And now this is 27 inches and I have a variable in store. The variable is important so that if I want to modify this length and make it a parameterized length off of this one, I could do so by hitting this line or selecting this line, selecting length. And now I could type length 01 minus, let's say 10. And it's optional, I could create another variable called length 002 that has this parameter in it. And now it's 17 inches. If you need to move any of your sketches, you can do so by selecting the starting point and dragging it around. Once you are satisfied with your sketches, select Exit Sketch, and now you can do your 3D operations. For example, like Extrude. And there is our extrusion. That's the basics of the sketch tools.